and law. Understand? Now, if we are such a person, we will understand the, the meaning of the word prosperous life, a life that is well for us, <coughs> to be in a life completely fulfilled and satisfied in the presence of God and with each other. If we are people who are honoring God, we are not going to misunderstand this prosperous life to mean a life with a lot of money. Okay? Because if you're already honoring God, your priorities are straight with God's priorities for you. And such a life, even if it's cut short by an accident or disease or illness, or even persecution, will be long and well because you will enjoy eternity in a loving relationship with God. You know, in conclusion, someone who actively seeks to honor their parents is someone who actively seeks to honor God. If you don't care about your parents, you are most likely not going to care about God either. Because God gave you your parents and your parents is personification of God that you could see physically and touch. But the opposite is true, isn't it? That someone who is not honoring their parents is not or cannot possibly honor God. Anyone who professes to honoring God while not honoring their parents is it's lying. Not, it just, it just cannot, cannot be. be. As, As we, we close, close, I want to remind all of you today to honor, to honor your parents. parents. Can, Can we, we do that? that? Doesn't, Doesn't matter what your age is. You, you do, do not honor your parents because your parents, parents are perfect. perfect. No, no parents. parents. Of, of course, some may be better than others, others but all parents, no matter who they are, are in their ways, make irrational decisions, parents lose temper, temper. Sometimes, sometimes they make selfish, selfish decisions. decisions. All, all parents do that because we're all sinners. sinners. No, no parent is perfect. perfect. We, we don't, don't honor our parents because they're perfect. They're perfect. No. no. But, but whether, whether they are, they are better or worse, worse than anyone, they all love you and care for you very, very much. And, and they're, they're trying, trying to provide you the best for your life. life. We, we honor our parents no matter how wonderful or not so wonderful they are because, because we are commanded to by God. God. It, it is, is a commandment, commandment with the promise. promise. So, how, how do we honor our parents? parents? How, how do you honor your parents? parents? As, As we, we discussed, discussed before, before, by being, being grateful, grateful to them. them. Grateful, grateful for them. them. Can, Can we, we do that? that? Today, this, this week, and forever, forever. Are, are you grateful, grateful for your mom and dad? dad? I know, I know you are. To, to express, express it, to think about it. it. Second, by, by saying sorry, sorry to them when you are not honoring them. them. It's, it's hard, hard to say sorry. sorry. Especially, Especially, I don't know, it was hard for, I, I don't know about girls or women, but I know myself and it was hard for me. But maybe that you did something wrong was this. It's like, you know, right, Mom? I don't have to even tell you. You know? By, you know, oh, you know, know come back in this way, you know, I'm sorry, sorry man. <laughs> no, say it. You know, Mom, I'm sorry for disregarding you like that. Not, not listening to that. Third, by listening to them, not only hearing, hearing the words, but considering their heart, their, heart, their good, good intentions, intentions for you, okay? okay? By, by practicing self-control to overcome your emotions of rebellion, which is coming from your self-centeredness and your pride. All kids do this. How many of you get angry with your parents? Yeah. Sometimes when I'm like, why are you doing this to me? Why are you nagging me? And what happens? We 
lose your self-control. We shouldn't get angry at that, right? But all kids, I see that. Oh, <laughs> because and then they lose their self-control. You know, try to do what they say the first time around, around that they ask. ask. If, if, you, if you do what they say the first time, time around, around, they won't have, have to nag you. you. They won't have, have to raise their voice to you. you. They won't have, have to discipline you. you. But what, what do we do? do? Oh, oh, that's, that's the, the first, first warning. warning. I'll, I'll wait, wait until, until their, their voice, voice pitch gets, gets to a certain, certain decibel, decibel level. level. Jimmy, Jimmy, turn that off and, and, and get started. started. Okay, okay, mom. mom. Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> and when, when it gets, it gets to a certain, certain level, level, we know, okay, you know, I, might, I should okay. push it over this I might, level. I so what happens is you feel like you're constantly being mad because you're not listening to them. You're making them repeat, 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 and you're conditioning, and conditioning your relationship, so they, so they have, have to reach a certain level, a starting point, and then you and then give in. Give in. And then and you get angry and, and say, why are they yelling at me? Because you didn't listen for the first 15 times. Train yourself to do what they ask you the first time around. Then you will have a very happy relationship because they won't have to raise your voice. Because they won't have to raise your voice. You'll be happy because they're not nagging you anymore. They're not raising their voices to you anymore. It's a good situation, and it comes with the heart that's honoring your parents. Next. Don't ask them to justify themselves. As we become teenagers, from maybe Rebecca's age to Jimin's age, is probably the worst. Why are you asking me to do that? Why should I do that? Why do you want me to? I think it's better if we do it this way, my way. Why do you want me to do it your way? And a lot of times what's happening is we're asking them to justify their actions and their will for us. And what happens when you grow up like that? You'll be doing the same thing to God. God, justify your actions. Why are you asking me to do this? It doesn't sound fair to me. And what happens is you're playing God. You're like looking at God as your subordinate. Because you've been trained as your teen to kind of not look at your parent and honoring them, but you're saying, hey, I'm, an adult. I'm becoming an adult. I'm almost subjugating my parents under me. Well, why do I have to do this? Why? How come? This is not honoring your parents. Understand? Do we understand? Okay. Starting today, I want you to have honoring parents on your mind. Practice honoring your parent in your life. Okay? So how are you going to do that today? I want you to take a minute to think about it. Okay, as soon as the service is over, before I go to sleep, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, what? Thank you. If I do something, I'm going to say sorry. When they ask me to do something, I'm going to listen to them. Avoid all conflicts. I'm not going to ask them to justify themselves, but I'm not going to rebel. Wait, gonna, uh, you hear me? I'll tell you, when you honor like that, you'll be trained to honor God in the same way. Understand? Can we do that? Yes? yes. Wait, All right. did you hear me? Our Heavenly Father, we are so thankful to you because not only you provide for us, but you provided us with parents who provides for us who are the personification of your love and your providence in our lives someone who we can touch we could feel we could talk with Lord you gave us this commandment there's ten commandments and out of that this is the only one with the promise for goodness for wellness for prosperity and we know why I pray that all our youth will be wise Lord wise to take this promise that you have given them and grab it and say thank you lord i'm going to honor 